Everyone, we are asked to provide the electron configurations of phosphorus in the standard and noble gas notations. So, I recommend that you take a minute now and try to solve this problem on your own before we go through the answer together. When finding the electron configuration of an atom, we are being asked where does this atom place all of its electrons, i.e. what shells and orbitals are its electrons most likely to be found. So, to solve this, the first thing we need to do is look at our periodic table and see how many electrons our phosphorus atom actually has. Looking this up, we can see that phosphorus is number 15 on the periodic table, meaning that in a neutral state, no positive or negative charge, our phosphorus will have 15 protons in its nucleus and thus 15 electrons surrounding that nucleus. Let's also remember in our past videos, we talked about this handy little device for solving the electron configurations of atoms. So, since we have 15 electrons to place, let's have a little counter here at the top, and whenever we place some of the electrons, we can move them to the right spot. We always begin with 1s, and as we discussed before, s orbitals can hold 2 electrons. So, that leaves us with 13 electrons. Next, following our arrows, we see 2s, which again can take 2 electrons. Then, we have 2p, our p orbitals can hold 6 electrons. So, we now only have 5 electrons left to place. Next we have 3s, which will take 2 electrons, and then we have 3p, which will hold the remaining 3 electrons. However, just remember Hund's rule, which states that each electron will occupy its own orbital before spin pairing with another electron. There we go, we have just solved for the standard electron configuration notation for phosphorus. To solve for the noble gas notation, we need to find out the noble gas that is underneath phosphorus. This noble gas is neon, which has 10 electrons, and a standard electron configuration of 1s2, 2s2, 3p6. Therefore, we can substitute this portion of our standard electron configuration notation and write it like so, thus converting it to noble gas electron configuration. Thank you for checking out this video and I hope it helped your understanding of electron configurations, in particular with phosphorus. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and consider checking out our YouTube memberships by clicking that join button down below. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.